Fox River Love Song. Sky, rain, wind, the moon's glory when full, when it sits low to the horizon and washes world in silvery light. Eyes, lips, ears, and hair, glorious limbs, the well-defined hand, feet with pretty toes. All God's children are beautiful. His works abound with care and great love. But she, she was blessed with beauty exceedingly so. The son himself, though he encountered her often, he would be caught unawares. She surprised the son himself whenever she came into his presence. She surpassed all items of creation, not only in feature and proportion, but in wit and spirit too. Her breasts were full and she wore a long skirt, which clung to her hips and girdled her below the belly. The whites brought us the Chippewa, the two books, their sacred wisdom and stories. And though they now had translated their holy word into the common idiom of our own people, none of us understood the text's import and meaning. The braves had refused to attend Sunday service. The medicine man claimed their volumes contained the pox. The moment he touched them, he cast them to the ground. Her hair was as black as the ravens and reached down to her shoulders. She had styled ringlets. We knew no other God to match her power. We knew hers was the face which could launch a thousand war canoes at once. To honor her, the topless sentry towers would tumble. The vision of her face would flatten the high fences. It would vanquish the alien command whose thick wood fort on the bank of the river was sacrilege to all that was good and natural. And when she stepped from her tent, the sun would acquiesce to her wish and burn the invader's barracks. Fire would justify his great love and devotion. And were her consort to experience a thousand women, have them in his life, she would remain his favorite. Stanley Passion, Fox River Love Song.